Anyways, I love that song. So, welcome back to another Therapy Thursday. I just got out of therapy. It's raining. Um, whew, what do I want to share today? I may or may not have uploaded a video before this explaining why I never went into why I was sad, why I was sad or hurt, or whatever. Anyways, um, that's not what this is about. I'm good y'all you know I am good but one thing that I explored today in therapy was something that more than one person has told me in the past week and a half it's that I'm sensitive when the person said it I was like yes I am sensitive I'm not gonna lie about that I am very sensitive and after we got off the phone, I was like, girl, you are sensitive. You really are sensitive. So that person told me that. And then also I got a human design analysis done by someone who is an expert in um, breaking down and analyzing your human design chart. If you're not familiar with what the human design chart is, just go and look it up. This is not the video to explain it. But she also told me that like by nature, I am a sensitive person and I need reassurance. I need to, pretty much I need to be handled with care. You know what? I know that. But for all this time, I kind of like withheld myself from saying that about myself in a, to a certain extent because a lot of people see that as a bad thing, as a negative thing. But when I got my human design analysis, she was like, no, that's not a bad thing. Needing reassurance is not a bad thing. And I discussed all of that today in therapy. And my therapist pointed out, she was like, needing reassurance isn't a bad thing. Now, um, if you're attached to that reassurance, meaning like, if you don't get reassurance, then everything is just my monochromy. If you don't get reassurance, then your whole life is over or you like <laughs> just completely lose yourself so I'm not attached to the reassurance but I do need reassurance and I don't need it every day I don't even need it every week but every now and then I need some reassurance also I brought up all of this to bring up the sensitivity part I think it's important for us to know ourselves on a deeper level and not be scared to share what we know about ourselves especially when that that thing is not a negative thing so you learn and learn about yourself every day you learn new things about yourself especially when you go through different things different challenges whether good things bad things you're constantly learning about yourself so sharing that information with our loved ones help them know how to deal with us helps them know, know how to love us helps them know how to help us so I made a mental note to start being more vocal about the things that I know about myself one of them is that I'm very sensitive when I go through things it affects me very deeply like very very deeply to the point where you know sometimes I'll be like girl are you tripping I'm just sensitive like you gotta handle me with care and when I'm not handled with care that affects me and it may affect me more than it may affect somebody else but that's okay that's me now because I know that about myself if I'm going through something I make or I, I remind myself that okay you feel like this right now you're going through it right now you feel deep about this right now allow yourself to feel that but do not let it consume you so now that I know that information about myself I'm able to acknowledge it and not allow that to consume me and also find healthy solutions to move forward which is what I did I'm still although communication is so important to me I'm still learning how to communicate effectively with different people because you can't communicate with everybody the same way because their level of communication might not be the same as yours or someone else's and sometimes the words we choose get misconstrued and then the English language in a whole is just 
pretty much confusing when it comes to comes down to it so anyways I say all of that to say this today in therapy I explored the part of me that's sensitive I explored that I acknowledge that yes I am sensitive but that's not a bad thing and that is something I'm going to be vocal about to the people closest to me, the people that I love, the people that's in my life, because I need them to know that my genetic makeup, my body, my mind cannot handle certain things the way someone else would handle it. Very simple ex example, and this has been me like all my life. My body cannot handle stress. If I'm stressed, my body shuts down. I don't want to eat. I am unproductive. I lose a lot of weight. Like, it's not healthy at all. Now, stress as a whole is bad for anybody. Like they say, it's a silent killer. But how my body personally responds to, to stress is very bad. Like, it affects me instantly. It's not something that creeps up. So, don't stress me out. If you love me, if you care about me, I can have hard conversations. Yes, you may say something to hurt my feelings. Yes, um, I might not agree on everything or we may not agree on everything. But you have to be open and honest with me. And don't add stress to my life. Another thing I learned is that what triggers a lot of my stress sometimes is confusion. I cannot sit in confusion. I need clarity. And that's why communication is so important to me as well. Um, if I don't have clarity, the thing that I'm confused about, it replays in my mind over and over and over. So now um, my mind is constantly going. And because I can't find the answers or because I can't gain clarity on whatever that is, everything goes down. So anyways... <laughs> I hope I am making sense. I am just making note of what I need to do to better better handle certain situations that I am going to go through in the future because I've already been through a lot. Okay? And one thing I always tell my best friend when we talking is that listen, we don't hit rock bottom. We can't get, and things can't get any worse, okay? It's only up from here. So even the obstacles and the struggles that we we facing right now, we've been through worse. And it's it sucks that we have to even say that we've been through worse, but it's true, we've been through worse. I always know that, okay, whatever you're facing right now, like, it'll be okay. You're gonna, you're gonna get through it. You've been through worse. But knowing that I am sensitive, knowing that I thrive on clarity, knowing that my body does not handle stress well, gives me information about myself to keep, to keep me secure. And um, it's important that we're be, it's important that I let others who are in my immediate circle know that as well. Anyways, that's about it for this um, Therapy Thursday. I am late I gotta go pick up my son and I gotta run some errands but I hope you all found this video helpful and oh I also want to say right I've had quite a few people reach out to me and say that my therapy Thursday videos help them and um, they are now going to therapy because of me and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for telling me because sharing these videos, like I said, I just want people to know that there is always a healthier way to go through hard times. There's always a healthier way to cope. And going to therapy is one of those things. And healing your trauma intentionally, I feel is the best gift you can give yourself okay because that trauma is blocking so much that once you break through that so many doors so many opportunities so much light comes to your comes into your life and um, I feel like I am living proof of that because even though I'm not where I want to be yet listen I I'm in a space right now that I can honestly say that mentally emotionally spiritually physically I'm in the best that I've ever that I've been in my whole life and that's because I've 
healed through a lot and I've processed a lot and despite what I've been through I it's only and I this sound cliche but it's only made me stronger and not just physically I just mean like in all aspects of my life so yes thank you for letting me know I appreciate that and with that being said if you're watching this and you've been considering therapy but not sure yet let this be your reminder to go and intentionally heal your trauma and even if you think you don't have any trauma just tap in and dig deep and um, heal your inner child because we all have an inner child that needs healing all of us every last one of us anyways to all of my melanated women protect your womb by any means necessary and to everybody watching protect your peace by any means necessary I wish you all love, light, and prosperity, and you'll see me in my next video. Peace. So, I just came back on here to say, when I go out, I'm used to getting compliments from men. You know, it's not nothing new. But today, <laughs> my goodness, they are definitely flattering your girl, okay? Like, old, young, in between. This one guy, I was crossing the street. He stopped so I could cross. I didn't think nothing of it. My boy rolled on his window and he screamed, y'all, you're hot, you're sexy. I was, I was in such disbelief in the moment that I didn't even say thank you or anything. But afterwards he said, how you doing, you good? You looking good. So then I said thank you, cause it like, he kind of reeled it back in. But <laughs> my goodness gracious, I'm not complaining. I appreciate the love clearly I need to get out more anyways that's all I came out here to say <laughs> bye